All right, this is a great related rate problem. All right, a light is on the ground 20 meters from a building. A man two meters tall walks from the light directly toward the building at one meters per second. How fast is the length of his shadow on the building changing when he is 14 meters from the building? All right, before we start trying to apply any calculus, let's draw a picture, label what we know, label what we don't know, what's changing and what's uh, constant. All right, so let's make this nice and dark. So here's my building and here's the ground and 20 meters away is the light. All right, I'm gonna make it yellow. All right, so we have this light that's 20 meters, it's on the ground and it's 20 meters away. So let's write, go ahead right now and write down 20 meters because that distance the light is from the building is never gonna change. All right, a man, two meters tall, so that distance is never gonna change, so this is two, is walking towards the building, all right? Which means this distance right here from the man to the building is changing. So let's give that variable an, a name, that, that, that uh, quantity that's changing. Now the shadow is cast from the sun, so the sun hits, comes up behind the man, Let's see I'm going to use my ruler, that would be better, and makes a shadow on the wall of the building, I'm sorry, on the side of the building. Now notice if he is closer, so here he's still two meters tall, here, but the shadow that is cast is smaller. So this uh, length of the shadow is definitely changing, so we'll give it a variable name and why don't we go ahead and call it Y. Alright? Okay, so let's, now that we have this picture, we've identified things that are changing and things that are not, let's see what we are asked to find. How fast is the length of his shadow on the building changing? So it's asking for this, the rate of change of this shadow. So we are looking for dy dt. Alright, now what are we given? We're given that this distance right here, the, from the man to the wall, which we called x, is changing at a rate of 1 meters per second. dx dt equals, and I'm going to write negative 1 because this distance is getting smaller. Alright, All right, so we're trying to find out how fast is the length of his shadow on the building changing when he is, so we need to write this down, when he is 14 meters from the building. So when x equals 14. It is tempting to write 14 here for x, but we don't, we, that's, that's it, it's 14 at a very particular instant, which we don't want to we're not sketching that instant, we're sketching here the entire situation and we want to make sure we're clear on what's changing and what's not. We'll plug in this value only after we've taken the derivative. Okay, now that we have our picture, everything labeled, we have identified what we're looking for and what we know, we now need to find a relationship between what we know and what we're looking for and so this involves a triangle, so you are probably right to think of a, the Pythagorean theorem. However, not all triangles are require us to use a Pythagorean theorem. Sometimes we're going to use similar triangles, and this is one of those cases where we will. So notice that I have this triangle right here. I'm going to outline it. This one right here is my super triangle, right? And then I have this smaller triangle inside this one. You see it? This one right here. And these are similar triangles, which means the lengths of their sides are proportional. So what does that mean? Well, that means there's lots of relationships, but one of which is I could say y is to 20 as 2 is to this distance. So 2 is to, and be careful, it's not x, because x is this distance right here. But I want to be able to talk about this distance in terms of x. Well, this is 20, and this is x, so this has to be 20 minus x. 
So y is to 20 as 2 is to 20 minus x. All right, now we've, we've done all the hard part. The only thing left now is to take the derivative of both sides with respect to time. All right, so I'm going to change a few things just to make that easier. So this is really 1 over 20 times y equals 2 times 20 minus x to the minus 1. I just moved this factor up to the top so it has a negative exponent. All right, so if we take the derivative of the left, we get 1 over 20 dy dt equals, now we do the chain rule, negative 2 20 minus x to the negative 2 times the derivative of the inside, which is negative 1, times the derivative of x with respect to time. Remember, we're taking the derivatives with respect to time. All right, now we're ready to plug everything in. So I get 1 over 20 dy dt. Well, that's what I'm looking for, so I like to circle it to remind myself. Equals, now I can fix this a little bit, so this really becomes 2 on the top, 20 minus x, and in this case, 14 squared on the bottom, times dx dt, which is minus 1. All right, so to solve for dy dt, I'm just going to multiply both sides by 20, and I'm going to simplify over here on the right. So dy dt equals negative 40 over 20 minus 14, which is 6 squared, so 36. So if I reduce this, I see this can reduce to negative 10 ninths. Now, does it make sense that our answer is negative? It should, because what I see here is the length of this shadow is getting smaller as the man walks closer towards the building. So that negative tells me that my y is changing in, in a decreasing way. All right, so let's make sure we answer the question. How fast is, sorry, where's my question? Here it is. How fast is the length of his shadow on the building changing when he is 14 meters from the building? And so my answer is dy dt equals negative 10 ninths, and what was my units? Meters per second. Another way you could say the same answer is the shadow decreases at a rate of 10 ninths meters per second. Notice I don't include the negative here because I've included that meaning here. That's it.